everyone, Dinesh here from Gibson Brands, and I'm here in Nashville, Tennessee at Gibson USA with the man himself, Mr. Jim DeCola, R&D manager and master luthier. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at how the new custom color series are sprayed in action. Stay tuned for the end of the video as you'll see a custom color burst in my hands. Can I do it? What's the first step on our journey here today? The first step on, on a successful finish is the preparation. Ah. So we're gonna go into color prep, okay. and, and that's where the guitars get their final sanding, wood filling if, if we need to do that, and the staining if that needs to happen. And okay. that's what we're gonna see now. Perfect, let's do it. All right. Okay, first thing in color prep is to sand the guitar. Very cool. Now we have these downdraft tables. If you see these openings, they're openings and there's a vacuum that pulls the dust down. Gotcha. This is really hands-on. I'm glad you said that. You that's, know. that's one thing that I like people to know. Yeah. USA being the largest factory you know, within Gibson. Right. Some people think that we just take wood and put it in a machine and pull out a guitar, yes. right? We do have a lot of machinery and technology. Yeah. And that affords us to have people do the hand operations that a craftsman has to do that a machine can't possibly do. Right. So now what's the next step? You said the filler. Yeah, after sanding, we have a grain filling operation. But here we're gonna fill the pores of the guitar. When it's all said and done, the, the actual tone of the mahogany will be slightly darker and then those pores will be highlighted and we'll have a smoother surface to spray on. And this treatment goes to the front, the back, the neck, the headstock, everything. That's correct. Wow, you can really start to see it come to life there. It really pops that grain. When the entire guitar is done with wood filling, then it has to dry for eight hours. Oh, And okay. that allows the solvents from the wood filler to evaporate and then fully cure. I see. For this particular color, we're gonna apply a, a stain to the maple top. And notice the maple is uh, no wood filler on the maple. I was gonna ask, yeah, why is yeah. that? Mahogany is an open grain porous wood and it requires the wood filler. Okay. On the maple, it's a closed grain wood. There's no open pores. So it doesn't require wood filler. I see. Is this the beginning steps of like the burst process for these custom That's colors? That's correct. Okay, yeah. so this is that primary base um, stain that, that lays more in the middle of the guitar. That's correct. Got That's it. correct. Okay. Once it dries, it'll be lighter than what you would expect because then later on we're going to shade it with more transparent blue when we do the burst. Since that takes quite a while to dry as well, uh, yeah. Chantel, you actually did one earlier before we got here, right? So we can see like a before and after. Yeah, let me grab oh, that. Oh, okay, great, great. Yeah. So oh, that would be the wow. finished product. Okay, so now that we're wrapped up here, uh, next step you said was finishing. finishing. Okay, cool, let's check it out. Okay, now we're going into finishing. We have to have badge access. Oh, right. Cut down on traffic. Yes. Contamination, you know, is number one enemy in finishing. Jim, this area looks pretty magical. Yeah, it wow. is. This is where the magic happens. Now that we're in here, okay. we're going to need to suit up. We have oh. to put on our protective outfit so we're not introducing more contamination. Okay, So okay. that's what we're going to do. Sure, sure. All uh, right. Do they come in black, by chance? Unfortunately, no. <laughs> this is awesome. Feeling very right. NASA at the moment. That's right. <laughs> so All where right. are we off to now? Now we're off to the spray booth. Spray booth itself. Okay, cool. That's it. Let's do it. Awesome. All right. So there we are right now in front of the spray booth. Super excited here, Jim. You hear the noise, that's the vacuum. Okay. So if you look against the wall, you see the kind of the diamond pattern. That's one big filter. That whole wall is a filter. The whole filter. wall is a filter. Wow. And it's pulling a vacuum. All the hazardous contamination in aspects of the finish, the particulate matter and all the hazardous VOCs yeah. are being drawn through that filter, through that vacuum. And he'll wear a mask. That's his own choice. But yeah. it's even OSHA approved where you don't have to wear a mask. We're going to watch Talon. Talon is one of our senior lead spray craftsmen. 
we're gonna watch him spray this guitar. Nice. Okay, so that was pretty amazing. So that was the burst. Now we're gonna be taking a look at a solid color being sprayed. So Jim, this is this is a little bit different than the burst process. Yeah, it's a bit more simple, Okay, uh, but it's still very exciting. We're gonna do Cardinal Red. It's one of our new custom colors that we're doing. Nice, okay, great. That's like the base coat there. Well, he'll, he'll it's all one color, right? Okay. But he's easing into it. Oh, I see. Yeah. A little bit at a time. Yeah, layering it out. Yeah, There's just like he did on the burst, now he's going to give it a sealer coat of clear lacquer. Already? Okay, got it. Yeah. All right, then, you guys want to give it a shot? Holy smokes. Let's Would do that it. be all right? That would be awesome. Yeah. All right, let's try my right, best here. Thank you. Jim, show me what's up here, man. We're going to lightly ease into it, go in one direction, and then lightly go in the opposite direction so we have that grid pattern. So we're, you know, getting a more even coverage. And you see, I'm kind of rotating the guitar. Okay, here you go. Do it. All right. Yeah, it's got a nice even tone. Okay. That's it. Now it's time for the burst. So when we do it, start like in the center of the neck. That way you can kind of fade in both directions. All right. Okay, so same thing here with the trigger. Start about here and ease your way around. Holy smokes. All now right. we can put some clear sealer on it. Okay. And the clear lacquer will protect it and it's gonna pop the color so we can really see what it looks like. All right. I'm gonna hold it by the neck. So now, same this thing will, here. It'll be because it's a clear coat, it's a little thicker, so a little more clear is gonna come out. So ease into it, 12 to 18 inches away. Somewhere here. Yeah, that's good. Here we go. There you go. Now you can come back in the other direction. Okay. And that's it. Wow. You did good. Hey, Jim, yeah. thank you, man. All right, let's be truthful here. Does this make it through the production line, or are we going to have to redo this? That's for the quality control inspector to determine. <laughs> Way to get out of that answer. That was good. That was good. <laughs> well, there you have everyone. We just did a couple of bursts ourselves over here at Gibson USA. Jim, thank you so much for giving us a, a shot at doing this, man. So what are the next steps now after, uh, after this? OK, after this, it would go into scraping, where they scrape the binding clean because we just sprayed over it. Once they do that, then it goes to the quality inspector. Okay. The quality inspector then approves it, and then it goes to the clear top coat, which is oh. the line over here. Okay. So the clear top coat will be four to six multiple top coats of just clear lacquer, and that's what gives it that depth and that final luster. I see. And okay. then after it dries for a minimum of three days, then we buff it out, and that will really step it up and, and get it very glossy. So this sees some more nitro clear coat on top. Absolutely. That's it. Yeah. Man, this is awesome. Thank you so much for taking the time, man, to have us here. 
and uh, showing me how My to do pleasure, a burst. My pleasure, Dinesh. Man, much appreciated. And everyone at Gibson USA for letting us crash the party today. I'm Dinesh from Gibson Brands. Once again, Mr. Jim DeCola, and we'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.